What if I told you I had a phone that cost $160? Tell me what comes through your mind. Well, this phone can't do this. This phone can't do that. But what if a phone that costs $160 that kind of exceeds some of your expectations at this price point? Well, I have the Yumi Digi F3S. This is a very interesting device, kind of similar to the Yumi Digi 813 Pro. Let me give you my thoughts about it. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. Yumi Digi devices is not the thousand dollar devices that you see here uh, from the Samsung is in the Apple, right? So these mid range devices give you the basics at a low price. So we're looking at devices like the Yumi Digi F3S. What comes to mind? It's cool. The design looks good. It's a mid range device, but it does give you some extra, especially at the price point. So looking at the unboxing experience, it comes complete with the device with a pre-installed screen protector. It comes with a case, a charging cable. It also comes with the charging brick. Also, you get all the bells and whistles here with the books and everything else in between for under 200 bucks. So let's go over the device. On the right side, there's a volume up and down button, uh, also with a power button that dubs as a fingerprint scanner. So on the left side, there's a SIM card tray. Also, you got a smart key here on the left side. Looking at the top of the device, you got a headphone jack and a mic port. At the bottom of the device, you got USB-C charging port, a mic port, and a mono speaker here. On the rear, there's a texture plastic bag design with a triple camera setup with a flash. And in the front of the device, you get a nice beautiful display with the front camera. So let's talk about the display. Looking at the display, it's a huge 6.7 inch 720p IPS display, 60 hertz with some nice colors. Some images is washed out a little bit. You don't get those deep blacks because it's a 720p IPS display, but the colors are okay. Watching movies and reading text is okay, especially at this price point. So let's talk about the performance here. Both the Yumi Digi F3S and the Yumi Digi A13 Pro share the same internals. It has the Unisec T610 with six gigs of RAM. You get 128 gigs of storage, do SIM card support, also SD card support here. Now looking at the benchmark test, they're almost identical, but playing games like Dead Trigger 2 is good on high settings, but playing games, other type of games, it runs okay to low to medium settings. So overall, you get a pretty decent performance here with this device. Next, let's talk about the cameras on the Yumi Digi. It has a triple camera setup, 48 megapixels. Uh, you have an eight megapixel and a five megapixel here. Now, as far as video, this device can shoot up to 1080p, 30 frames per second. But when it comes down to video, uh, let me let you guys see some clips here between this device and the A13 Pro and let you be the judge for yourself. All right, guys, so here it is. Uh, this is the Yumi Digi F3S here. 
I'm out here at the park and uh, early in the morning here, got some nice blue skies here. What I want y'all guys to see is the camera here. And as I walk, you know, uh, look at the stabilization or maybe lack thereof. And when it comes down to stabilization, here it is, right? All right, so this is the side-by-side -side comparison between the Yumi Digi A13 Pro versus the Yumi Digi uh, F3 S. Uh, at 1080p 30 frames per second now something strange here uh, the A13 Pro doesn't have video stabilization in the, the app itself but the uh, Yumi Digi F3S uh, does have a toggle button that you can press for video stabilization kind of strange but that's how it is here all right so here it is this is the front-facing camera of the Yumi Digi F3S now, uh, you let me know down in the comments below if you like the images and if you like the audio. Now, I've got this set up on a tripod. So, here it is. This is the Yumi Digi front-facing camera on the tripod. Shooting this here with the front-facing camera. You be the judge for yourself. So, let's talk about coverage. In the United States, I'm getting 4G LTE with voice over LTE. The data speeds is really good here. Now this device supports all GSM networks, but unfortunately, if you are on AT&T, you definitely got to be aware of this. It has the band support, but AT&T don't play well with international smartphones. So just so you know, if you are on AT&T, you might want to pass on this device because you may get whitelisted. The Yumi Digi F3S has a huge 5150 milliamp battery, so paired with a 720p display at 60 hertz, I'm getting easily two days of battery life with room to spare. Okay, so no phone is perfect, and this device for sure has some flaws. This device is on Android 11. Now this phone was released in 2022. So that's a big concern as far as support with this device. Look, if you got a device that's being released in 2022 and not on Android 12, that's definitely something that you need to know. And that does concerns me about updates with this device. Next concern that I have about this phone is the display. It's not so bright, especially with outdoor visibility. Also, the viewing angles is not that great on this device. So you definitely need to be aware that the display here is not the brightest and definitely viewing angles are not that great. And lastly, kind of strange here the f series and the a series is almost identical with a few minor changes as far as the back of the device the a13 pro is a flat back with a boxy shape the f3s has a curved shape uh the internals are the same so i'm not sure how the a13 pro is better than the f3s because i'm not seeing any performance differences even with the cameras with both of these devices so overall the big question is who is this device for well that's an easy question to answer this device is for the person that don't want to spend over a thousand dollars for a smartphone a person that want to buy a brand new phone for under 170 dollars that work well especially in the united states if you're on gsm like t-mobile or something like that a person that want long battery life and a person that like a nice build quality here even though it's plastic but it's still a nice premium build quality plus with the unboxing experience you get all the accessories that you need so that's what this device is for so overall the yumi digi f3s is a good device for the price i will leave all product links down in the description below if you want to check it out this is Eric the tech preacher from easy computer solutions leave your comments down below let me know what you think about the yumi digi f3s in all its glory see you guys on the next video peace